What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's Real Talk Wednesday. What's up, y'all? What's up, divas? Okay, welcome back to my channel, girl. <clears throat> I am a little bit like, you know something? It is that time of the year, and I am so over the seasons of allergies. Like, I don't know what season it, I get it out here because it's just so dry and dusty. But when I tell you my weekend has been nothing but the sniffles, a sneezing, and, okay, it's puffy eyes. Like, that was my entire weekend. I, of course, stayed in the house, but Lord, it just feels like it just be too much at times because I can go weeks and weeks without any type of like flare up. That's what you want to call it. But then when I get them, it's like all at one time or I just be ready to just go in my bed and cry. So that's what my weekend was like. Thanks to my allergy. So if I look a little bit puffy or I sound a little bit congested, trust me when I tell you I'm not sick. It's my allergies that are driving me crazy. But other than that, um, I came through with a different look for y'all today. Okay, listen, let me tell y'all. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. Now I have all always done my head wraps like you know I try to make my head wraps my head scarves look a little bit you know acceptable wearable you know <coughs> excuse me outfit attireable you know things of that nature I try to let me get my water hold on guys so as I was saying I have these moments basically where you know I try to make my head wrap more like just just basically I don't know if the right word is called it fancy but you know what I'm saying I try to make it look nice okay I don't go outside and just throw it on and that's what I call a head wrap you know I gotta try and make it do what it do so I do love wearing head scarves I have like a humongous collection of head wraps head scarves you know you can just get the material from just about anywhere I think like my favorite material is this one right here which I did get these from the 99 cents only scar store now these are like the jersey knit material and they're actually infinity scars you know infinity scars i just cut them open and i would use them as head wraps i like them because they're stretchable and they just you can just do a lot of different styles with them and they hold really well and plus they're not hard to wrap because they're soft and they're jersey knit so i stopped wearing my head scars like on a daily because i just stopped you know i go from one thing to another i like headband wigs for the time being i like head scarves for the time being i like ponytails for the time being you know we all go through that but i I guess I'm going back to head wraps because let me tell y'all this is not even a video for them I have a whole separate video but now I know y'all seen them where the hair is sewn onto the baseball caps right you know you just throw the baseball cap on you got braids or you got a weave or, you know it looks like you got you, your hair is done underneath the baseball cap but if you take the baseball cap off your hair is coming off with it so they have these other ones you can either get the one like the baseball cap or you can get the one with the wig grip sewn on it and I was like wait what Oh, heck yeah, I'm getting the one with the wig grip sewn on it um, because it's just more versatile. I could wear this with any type of hat and I could even wear it with a headscarf. And let me get a little bit more creative and we're going to see another way I could wear this. But I got this and I thought it was like genius. I've seen this before, like probably like a year ago. And when I first saw it, I was like, this is stupid. Who's wearing this? She looks stupid. This was my first reaction to this particular product. I don't know who invented it. I'm not sure where it originated from. But look, y'all, this is like crazy. Like, I thought this was so genius like okay do you see this it's a it's it's braids bohemian braids too it's like the i think that's what they call it the boho braids excuse me boho braids and it has like the human hair curled on it and all of that and braided up like it's really really nice it's 18 inches but it's sewn on a wig grip band like who thought about this who like whoever thought about this from forever ago I'm, I have to give you your credit so I wore this under my head wrap and it just looked so great I was just me myself and I was just like amazed I really did think this was stupid when I first saw it but yeah if you just get this one and you love wearing head scars or head wraps then this is for you like I'm telling you this nobody would even know I my daughter came home and she said it looked so real she said you wouldn't even been able to tell but it looked really real and when I took my little head wrap off and showed her she was like it looks so real this is definitely something that I would suggest if you got to run errands or you just don't want to do your hair or you love wearing a headscarf but you don't have hair underneath it or whatever girl get you one of those head grip I don't know what you want to call it but get you one okay I thought it was really really cool I've worked with this company before actually their name is Y Wigs so I actually worked with them before but I have a whole video on this particular wig girl when I tell you I have a whole video on it I don't even know if you want to call it a wig but I have a video on it of me showcasing it show you different ways you could wear it different hat attire girl yes yeah. so I definitely am gonna um, edit that and get that out for you guys but if you've seen those before let me know your thoughts on it I like I said at first when I saw them I was like this is stupid it looks stupid but then it got
got me to wearing my head scarves again. Like, I really don't care for the ones that's sewn to the hats because I just don't. Because what if you want to switch up the hat? You know, you got this whole bunch of tracks sewn in this. So I like this one right here. I love the whole concept. You know, head scarf, hat, whatever you want to wear on underneath or top of it, it's definitely workable. And it's not even really hot like that. So also, you guys know that today is actually really Monday um, when I'm doing this video. So for the weekend, I really didn't do anything at all but just do my little creations. Plus on Sunday, August 4th, was actually the five year mark for my son passing. Um, he passed away on August 4th of 2019, which was on a Sunday. So it was kind of a lot for me and I just had rather not um, be bothered with anybody so I but I had a great day like to myself sitting at home minding my business I had a really great day and I, I you know I did have my moment when I, I shed some tears quietly in my own silence by myself but other than that I, I, I didn't let the day ruin the day for me you know what I'm saying if you understand what I'm saying so you know yesterday made a five-year mark for him on the 4th of August and it's crazy how time goes by so quick that you don't even realize that time has gone by so quick for certain things you know and my daughter she was like really concerned about me um if anyone's checking on me or if I'm okay because she you know she was there but I, I actually had a great day I actually really did and I got a lot of work done um as far as you know just creating my little my little brand okay if that's what you want to call it but yes five years five years time goes by so quick I tell you guys it really really does you know and I just you know what I'm, I'm proud of myself and I say this to you guys all the time but I know my son would be so proud of me because I helped myself together so well yesterday and I know he would be so proud of me so I just I just want to put that out there like he's not forgotten and he knows that but I know that he would be just so proud of me for being so strong on that particular day and I was and I'm proud of myself but I thought I would share that with you guys now yes on the weekend over the weekend I was creating things and um, I got some um, things in the mail um, last week from like companies um just to improve my home um so i will definitely be showcasing that in a vlog um but i wish somebody would send to improve my home i wish somebody would send me somebody that really knew how to clean carpets okay because when i tell you i have went through several companies and they just do shitty work they do shitty work Ooh. excuse me my, i'm telling you my allergies <coughs> Woo, child. Excuse me, guys. So, yeah, like I was saying, I really would like to find some body that really know how to clean carpets because the company that I was using, the one guy, he quit. He just quit on them. And it probably was them, but he was working there for some years. And I would only like for him to come and clean my carpets because he did, like, a really great job. Um, they did send other people to my home, but their job kind of, like, sucked. Well, after he left, I still haven't found anybody decent. I, I went through two or three different companies. And when I tell you, after it dries and you look at it, it's like... You guys forgot that area. You forgot that area. So, you know, I, w I wish they would send me somebody that know how to clean carpet. Sending me products to my home. Yeah. But other than that, you know, this weekend, I did sit around and I did enjoy my weekend. I, um, you know what I tell y'all, I mind my business. Most of the time, I'm, I'm here to mind my business. I'm not here to be in anybody else's shenanigans. When I tell you that my allergies are killing me, you guys, they are bothering me. Um, but other than that, yes, I did create some new stuff. So as you guys see, I got on the Apple Watch today. This is not my Apple Watch. Okay, let's just put that out there. This is my daughter, Naze. She's so kind to let me use it for picture taking and for, you know, just for picture taking. So, and I also make sure that she's hooked up. You know, I got our new face. I do make her bracelets also because it's a hookup. But this one right here is the Zodiac set. Okay, and it has all the Zodiac sign charms on it. So that way you're not missing out. There are 12 charms total on this entire bangle set or watch band set. And it also does come, like I say, with a complimentary bracelet. So you also get a free complimentary bracelet. I like to say it like that, complimentary. I don't know why, but I just do. So this is the actual um, Zodiac set right here that I have on the site. And I know that Hello Kitty is trending. Well, I know now. I didn't know. But I also have Hello Kitty watch bands on the, on the site, which, which consists of 10 charms of Hello Kitty, all Hello Kitty on the site. And a bunch of other ones that I'm definitely going to showcase in this video. You know, I have to promote my own self. Okay, I got to promote my own self. And like I said, if you are searching for a website, you want to sell your own items, try out Weebly. They have a great, amazing website. You can either use the free version like I do, which will have an extension on your actual name. So mine's just going with the winwigs.weebly.com. That is their way of advertising on your website or also at the bottom of your site. I don't really 
minded. I've used this site for over 11 plus years to host my products. So I don't mind the Weebly part on it. It's free. There are other upgrades on the website that you can use, but it's super easy to build. It's just, you know, it's trial and error. But I'm here to promote my own self. So make sure you check out Made With Muff Accessories, or you can also check out my Gone With The Wind Whip Wet. Going with the wind wigs too. It's all on the same site and I do have wigs for sale and I also do cater to making beaded bracelets along with beaded bracelets for your watch bands also. So I also do have those things on my site as well. So make sure you check me out. Okay, you guys show some love, you know, very affordable. So check me out. But yes, this is the newest one. We have some of these Zodiacs and I do have quite a lot of these charms that I purchased to create these. So this is the Zodiac set. I'll be making them in this color right here. And also, I do believe I'll try thinking of another color to make them. But so far, I've come out with this color set for the Zodiac sets. But you guys, yes. Also, we do have another sponsor for this video besides myself, which is called Boost. And this is by a company called KGold.com, where you can, you know, get your pussy power back, okay? I know y'all like, what, girl? Yes. <laughs> okay, I said it just like that. So, Boost is actually by a company called KGold, which actually helps your Kegels, okay? Kegel exercise kegel training tightening up your pelvic so if you go through life changes like pre-menopause or just pregnancy or um, after pregnancy you do want to make sure that your you know your kegel muscles your pelvic muscles are strong a lot of times when you get older your bladder you, you holding your bladder is not a thing like it used to be like you can't hold it for long periods of time also you may feel like your bladder is full when it's actually not and you find yourself frequently going to the bathroom this will help you with your kegel exercises but it also will help you if you just had a baby and of course your pelvic floor is kind of weak you want to build back up those muscles this also will help with that now there are actually two different systems this is the one where you can sit on and it looks just like this and it also goes with a Bluetooth and an app so it gives you exercises so this you actually just can sit on this and you can do your kegel exercises it will count your kegel exercises it will show you the progress or there is one that will require an insertion so the next kegel one is the one where you can insert it in your you know what now i didn't go for that one as you see i went for this one right here it is the one where you can sit on it and it does have a, a charging port and also has where you were connected to the bluetooth it does give you instructions on how to use this on the website it's super easy so you could be sitting at work and you type up that pelvic floor okay we all know everybody want to tighter you know what okay but um gotta do those kegel exercise so this one is actually something that'll help and helps you monitor your kegel exercises and training so this is like a silicone very very um very squishy and soft to the touch and this part is a hard base okay and all you would do was just use the app and it gives you everything right here there's a qr code where you can download the app and you can you know sit there at work with your little kegel Play. I don't know what you would call a Kegel boost plate and just sit there and do your little Kegel exercises, you know? So that way when you get home at night, you know, you'll be tight and ready, okay? But they also do have the one, like I stated, that is for insertion. Now that one, you're definitely not going to be able to do that at work. I would suggest doing that on your own private time. But that one, you know, like I said, you will insert it and it would also do the same thing. The, each person is different. Now, I don't want to be inserting stuff into myself. So I prefer the one that you sit on. There's also one for men, which would have to help them in premature ejaculation, better stamina and so forth it has real lifetime feedback very comfortable to sit on and it tracks your progress as well get tight and get right with your pelvic floor and this is all available on kgold.com i'll definitely link everything down below for this system for kegel training um but you know how i'm always saying how we um we go to fries and there's the clearance x section in kroger fries right and i'm always saying that my daughter tati she when she goes she finds the best deals so this was last week but she found a whole box of these kaleidoscope miracle drops the original and they were for seven dollars and eighty cents now when she came home she came home with about eight of these I, I remember purchasing this product like so many years ago and I'm, I'm I'm the type of person where sometimes I'm not really great with consistency so I wasn't able to see the the um the outcome you know I did end up giving the drops away to one of my daughters but I'm, I'm hard with consistency now I've been pretty good with this one so far it says three to five times a week I do it every other day in the evening because this stuff does get really really oil oily now I, I've heard good things and I haven't so I really want to know has any of you guys tried this product and if so 
What are your thoughts? Your honest thoughts? What was your outcome? Give me your feedback because I want to know. I mean, for $7.80, I think I paid like $30 for this at the time. Um, it says on the bottle it was $20. Um, and this is the two fluid ounce one. So I'm really thinking that I, at the time when it came out, I did pay $30 for this, those miracle drops. But um, I want to know your thoughts. And I wonder why it's being sold at the grocery store. I'm shocked that they even sold it at this Kroger price because like this is I don't look I don't know but I'm surprised it's there and also I'm wondering why they get rid of it because there's no expiration date on the stuff but maybe it wasn't a great seller you know but I want to know your thoughts on it but other than that let's get into this real talk y'all already know what time it is with the real talk if you have a real talk that you would like me to talk about you can always send me an email to muffin is my lovers 2012 at gmail.com or april's real talk at gmail.com please go ahead and let me know if you decided to change the names of the people who you are talking about in the email and you need me to give you a new name or you just want to go ahead and go with the flow with your own name so other than that girl let's just get into this real talk okay So one of these wasn't really real talk. Um, so there's, I'm actually going to do three because the first one that I'm about to talk about, it's really not a real talk in my opinion. She just want to know, have I ever seen these people? Have I ever watched these people? What are my thoughts on it? Because I guess they're invested in this particular YouTube couple. I don't really do like talks about other YouTubers on here or influencers. I don't do that. Um, I don't like to react to um, basically any of the inf uh, influencers on here because I just don't. That's not my thing. And that would allow me to have to sit and watch them on for periods at a time and I'm just really not into that now there are some people that I do like to engage with and, and watch on this here app but most of the time the only time that I would watch any of these like vlogging channels is when it comes to like certain people like let's say uh, my jazzy life or strong mommy Chrissy or what have you I would basically watch them too on my own but a lot of these channels I don't really watch unless I see something really interesting coming from one of the reactors now the only reactor that I watch is styling with Storm and I told you guys before I actually love styling with Storm but I love watching her she's funny and she just brings humor to the reactions that she does in my opinion plus her thumbnails and her whole background images are perfect like dead spot on so I really do appreciate her content and her feedback regarding these channels but then there are some channels that I do watch without watching the reactors so Noria asked me have I ever seen the couple by the name of Queen of Kings out here in Phoenix since we live both in Phoenix now mind you I I've watched them several times. I actually found this couple through the shorts and I thought they, they was very sweet. You know, this is what I'm seeing from the outside. I don't really know what their life is like, but I thought it was interesting. Not because they're an interracial couple, because I could care less about any of that, but because of the way they love on one another and the way that they, you know, go about showing affection to one another and just being happy. That's what I was really interested in. I could care less if you are purple and green dating. I did start watching them on their shorts and I thought it was cool the way she would get her husband to dance along with her or what have you so I did subscribe I didn't start really watching their video videos until like recently like a few months ago and more, more or less they're kind of like lives and stuff like that so I really don't get into too many of those so they do have a lot of drama going on at the time if you ever heard of them and it was um she asked me have I ever seen these people or do I watch their channel and what are my thoughts on their relationship and all the drama that has taken place over the past few weeks within their channel okay so if you don't know Rose she's a black mother she has four children all little boys two little boys from her previous marriage and then two with her husband uh, right now right 
All I know is this. She got on to this thing. They separated. They moved to Hawaii. They actually do live out here in Arizona and not too far from me from where their Airbnb was because they used to reside in their Airbnb until they moved into apartment. Now, listen, the house that they use for the Airbnb is a beautiful home from the pictures that I see. Now, I've never seen them in real life. And if I have, I probably didn't even notice them and know it was them. But they do have a lot of drama going on currently. And it has a lot to do with them pretending to say that they were separating and then to put on this big over dramatic argument on live on like a few weeks ago i kind of knew the argument was all fake i just could you can tell when something is really really fake the kids were in the background crying they were and act, actually in the background one little boy was asking about donuts while they're supposed to be going back and forth so it took me as a shock like okay kids are normally crying when it's just this much of a, a debate and they're not doing it they're asking about donuts and they're having like a really great time while these so-called parents are arguing so that also allowed me to see well they're already you know forewarned the children that we're going to be arguing pretending to be arguing so don't get upset and on top of that it just it just i just knew it was for clicks and views so my opinion on this couple if you guys have never heard of them queen of kings is you know it's a lot of people do shit for clicks and views on youtube some things you just really i wouldn't do i wouldn't want to humiliate my family and myself so now we've got all these different channels talking about this particular family we've got tasha k talking about them we've gotten so many different reactors talking about this particular couple and even though she's came out and apologized to her followers about making the fake videos about the separation and arguing still people are still talking about you negative and like i don't really want to tarnish my image for a check like i don't really care what people think about me to be honest in real life i don't fucking care what anybody thinks about me but i still don't want to look stupid you understand what i'm saying for a check like i just can't look stupid now we've all had our times we fucked up and said some dumb shit about our family or ourselves on on the internet but i just really don't want to be stupid i don't want to be stupid for a check like that's not my thing i can't do that so now yeah they are being discussed by all different Different top types of um, reactors I love drama like don't get me wrong I love drama my opinion on them is you know that's just that's them I don't really give a fuck what they do as long as they fucking with my shit over here then I'm cool with it but I have heard of them I have never seen them in person um, but I do feel like there is a lot of race baiting on her channel but that's your business it don't really move me so I don't allow it to bother me you know what I'm saying a lot of people let little things bother them but I will comment and I guess she said that also because she did ask me in this this little three sentence email um hey April have you ever heard of the family called Queen of Kings and have you ever seen them where you live at in Arizona um I've been watching them for a couple of years and I really did like them until recently I did see you or you left a comment but I did leave a comment on a recent video but but like I said, I don't know them personally. I have never seen them in person. And yes, I do watch them and I have heard of them. Um, now, are they my favorite um, YouTube couple? I don't have any favorite YouTube couples because I'm not going to live my uh, life through them. But I did see some of their shorts where I thought was really engaging. The grass ain't green on both sides. Sometimes everybody has some shit going on. It's just up to you what you want to put put out there whether good or bad or for clicks or views honey yeah so moving right along now this is this one right here this email right here she titled it you are not the father like it reminded me so much amori you are not the father and then the girls would just sprawl out on the floor and like oh my god he's not the father out of all 10 men he's not the father like um, but when i see the title that's the first thing that i thought of girls sprawling out on the, sh on the show throwing themselves on the floor running to the back ah, you know acting all crazy because they, they they thought he was the father so let's read this one you are not the father hey april thank you in advance for reading my email can you please use a different name for me i would rather you please call me diamond well i'm engaged to be married and my fiance has a baby mother or so i said or so because he doesn't think the little boy is his because he doesn't look anything like him and i agree he doesn't look like him at all he and i was talking one evening and we were looking at pics of him and his son together and i said he doesn't even look anything like you he has his mother's features to me and my fiance agreed with me my fiance then got to thinking and saying out loud that what if he's not his son i was kind of shocked he would even say anything like that but what if he's right what if he's not his son because he looks nothing like my fiance his son is six years old and that is his only child what if he's not his i suggested a paternity test to put his mind at ease and he could get his answers i'm starting to think like my fiance 
and I don't want anything or any person upsetting him. His mother asked me about the situation, and I did tell her, yes, he and I were speaking on it, and we didn't think the child was his as well, because he doesn't look anything like him. My fiance's mother suggested that I stay out of it because my fiance's baby mother is a good person, she is a good woman, and she doesn't see her ever doing anything like that to my fiance. I respected what she's saying, but I still have my doubts. What do you think, Diamond? So I wish my fiance would have had a fucking name, because honestly, I got tired of saying my fiance, my fiance, my fiance, my fiance. You know what I'm saying? I, I was reading the email. I wish I could have just named him my fiance. That's his name now, my fiance. That's his motherfucking name now, my fiance. Okay? Because Diamond want to be called Diamond. Because But Diamond is a diamond in the rough. Diamond is nosy. Diamond needs to learn how to mind her fucking business. That's funny. Sometimes y'all be writing me and y'all feel like, oh, because y'all wrote me, y'all feel like I'm supposed to agree with y'all on everything. But I don't agree with you, Diamond. I damn sure don't. Because for one, you need to learn how to mind your effing business and STFU. Like on some real shit, I hate to see men be like, that ain't my baby because he don't look nothing like me. What makes you think that the baby got to come out looking like your ass? Thank God sometimes the babies don't look like some of you guys, okay? That's a blessing for the baby because why the baby want to come out looking anything like you is beyond me, okay? That poor child would have no fucking future if he was to look anything like some of y'all baby daddies, all right? I'm just saying. But men be so quick to say, oh, that's not his baby. That's not my baby because he don't look like me. He don't got my ears. He don't got my nostrils. His left pinky don't look like my left pinky, all right? But do you fail to realize you're not the only parent in this whole entire growth of the baby? There is the mother that the baby could look just like you know what I'm saying but let's take for instance my grandson Tinky he don't look like Tati he don't look like his father either you know who he look like he looks like his grandmother he looks just like me you look at my pictures when a kid as a kid and you look at him we look identical you know what I'm saying when and people think that we look alike to this day and that he looks just like me even his own mother says that he looks like me that is crazy that some people just take it upon themselves to just feel like oh well because he has not your hairline he doesn't have your hairline that ain't your child the baby has more than one parent okay and I think that it's okay for that baby to look just like the mother like I said some people thank God that the baby don't look like the father and then there's sometimes when the baby comes out and he looks identical to the father and you'd be like god damn and they still tried to deny the child. When he looked like he looked like he stole your whole fucking face. But the, the reason why I feel like Diamond should mind her fucking business is because of this. You sat up there and you agreed with your 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 boyfriend, your fiance, that the baby don't look like him. You the one who initiated the fact that the baby don't look like him at all. The baby ain't even a baby. He's six years old. So your boyfriend, your fiance, has six whole fucking years to decide whether this boy was his or not, to decide whether he looked like him or not. I'm pretty sure within the six fucking years that he knew that that little boy didn't look anything like him and he looked like his mother just as you stated in this email diamond he has his mother's features he looks just like his mother so if you know that he looks just like his mother why even bring it any further and say well he don't look like you he probably not yours let's go get a dean a paternity test and prove so that way you can rest assured first of all diamond like i said you should have minded your business and shut the fuck up now, it's okay to say that a child doesn't look like another person that's fine because in reality that is true children don't need to look like both parents Children could look like one parent. Children don't even need to look like none of the parents because there are grandparents too, okay, that some of the kids get their looks from. So let's just keep that in mind. But because you went along with him, you kind of like strung him along and you feed it into his ego of not thinking the baby is his. Now he's on the back burner thinking that the baby is not his. He done went to his mother and said something to her because she came and asked you about the situation and then told you respectively to stay out of it because his baby's mother is not that type of woman nor that type of person and she wouldn't do him like that because she knows her very well so if his mother is telling you that maybe you should have minded your business and shut the f up and not even bother reading, writing this email it's crazy how we can get into other people's business and not be like like what not but not wanting to get into other people's business if you feel me like i don't really want to be in this like i try to mind my motherfucking business as much as possible but it's crazy that sometimes y'all will write me and y'all feel like because you wrote me that i'm supposed to agree with you on the situation but on this particular situation nah girl i don't agree with you at all i really feel like you should have minded your business so now we got this woman who had a baby for six years. He ain't even a baby. He's a kid. He's a whole fucking kid now. And she's had this kid for a whole six years right along with your fiance. And now you've gotten to his ear that the baby doesn't look like him and the baby might not be his. Or even if he said that first, you shouldn't have fed along with it. But in state, you fed along with it. Now you did say, oh, he doesn't look anything like you. He has his mother's features. He looks just like his mother. There's nothing wrong with saying that at all because it's just a true fact. But 
he thought out loud her fiance started thinking oh he doesn't look like me what if he's not mine because he don't look like me girl you wasn't supposed to sit there and feed along with that shit you, you really wasn't you know what I'm saying? You were supposed to reassure him that the baby's probably is. You know what I'm saying? You should you just you didn't even have to reassure him that. You could have just said, Hey fiance, cut it out. You know that that little boy is yours, okay? Sometimes they don't have to look like you. That that's the proven fact, okay? Like sometimes we don't have to look anything like our parents. You know, sometimes it's a good thing for the kids not to look like the parents. But for you to say that the kid looks like his mother and now you're agreeing with him and now you're telling him to go get tests and stuff, girl, what are you trying to do? Do you just want the fiance to just forget about the kid altogether? Or are you trying to secure your place within him and his family and his heart that you are going to be there? You his ride or die. Listen, let me tell you something, Diamond. The baby mother came before you. I don't know if they was married. I don't know if they were engaged or what happened. But the little boy is six years old now. Now, mind you, I don't know when he's going to turn seven, but they've they known each other for a long time, obviously. And if he's went all these years without feeling that type of way due to the baby's appearance and look, then it's unfortunate that he's going to start feeling this way now. But I'm just going to tell you this. As a woman, as a woman, I would never want to make another woman feel less than of a person by going along with their ex about if the child is there or not that's not my fucking business because i wasn't there you i know you wasn't there diamond laying up in the bed with them when they was you know making that baby conceiving i know you wasn't there and i know you wasn't there after or she, and you was in her sex life and so that's one thing that i don't understand with women they go right along with the man like well that ain't his baby he said that wasn't his baby that ain't his baby you don't know that was you fucking there you were not fucking there when they was fucking you weren't there okay baby you was girl listen you was not there okay she was working on those Kegel exercises and got that baby with him. You heard it there, all right? Now, I mean, that was definitely not your place to write this email and, and go along with it. And if his mother said respectfully to stay out of it, then respectfully stay the fuck out of it and mind your business, okay? And realize that kids can look like both parents, one parent or neither or. But I really feel like some of y'all be in too much of other people's business at times. Y'all be concerned about shit that has nothing to do with you guys at all. And that's the sucky part. Like, if it were you and the shoe was on the other foot, you guys would definitely feel some type of way y'all be like I don't know she need to mind her business you wouldn't like it so you got to treat people the same way that you would want to be treated okay like straight up treat people the same way you would want to be treated and how you would want to be treated all right you got to give that person the same type of grace that you would expect I just really feel like sometimes you guys need to learn how to mind your business maybe not all you guys but some of you so this one is considered calling real talk road rage fight road rage fight hey april how are you and divas and divos doing today thank you for your real talk videos and thank you for reading this email when you can my name is magenda and i'm a 26 year old black woman i found your video because i was looking for some affordable wigs and ever since then i have been watching you religiously but thank you girlfriend thank you so recently I got into an accident which turned into a physical fight in the street and now I am going to court because of this. I will say I was the one at hand for the accident as I wasn't paying attention and made a left at the light when it was not my turn to go. The light had turned red about five seconds prior to my left turn. I really didn't think it was a problem to go but in the end it was. My car has front end damage due to hitting the ongoing car on their driver's side. Like I said, I was the issue or problem for the accident, but I took a whole but it took a whole different turn. The lady I hit was so disgusting and mad, she jumped out of her car and started screaming and yelling. I tried to tell her to calm down. I have insurance. I was the fault at hand and to just chill. This lady jumps in my face now. When I say lady, I say a sister. She had to be in her late 40s. She jumped in my face, started calling me all types of names along with her hands in my face. I started screaming in her face at this point and then next thing I know, we are in the street fighting. Like literally physically fighting. I wasn't in the car alone. My sister, blood sister, was with me who's in her 30s and this woman wasn't alone as well. I believe that was her husband. The si my sister sister did try to break it up like de-escalate the situation but it seemed like the man who was with this woman was going off right along with her which seemed to pump this woman up miss april we got to fighting my sister ends up jumping in and hitting the guy because he was trying to break us apart but more so was trying to hold me back and allow his woman to hit me when i tell you the fight ended with me being put in cuffs due to the accident and the fight now i was able to be bailed out it was nothing major as in paying because this was my first time being arrested i am so hurt by this because i don't want it to affect my life or any type of career i am still going to court and just nervous as 
I really do not want to go to anyone's jail for something so ridiculous. As for the woman, it seems like she's trying to be petty and press charges against me to make an example out of me. What I don't understand is why cuss and jump in another person's face over and over and expect them to not react. I have been in several fights throughout my youth. You know high school, middle school, but and a couple in my early 20s. But this is ridiculous. This was one of my own sisters and she was older so it baffled me that she would even react so childish like this. What do you think about this? What do you think I will be going to jail or what? Please let me know. Girl, road rage is real, y'all. Look, what I tell y'all about people out here that can't drive, they be pissing me off so so bad sometimes I just be wanting to sock them in their fucking heads. Like, straight up, I be wanting to just just, just stop them, just stop them and get in front of their car and just get out and knock them upside their heads because people really don't be paying attention. Or they do be paying attention but don't deserve a driver's license, okay? Or some people that just don't give a fuck. Girl, Magenda, the light turned red. That gave you no right to go. So at least you being honest and saying that, you know, you was at fault but and you knew this but you felt like it was okay to go so you mean to tell me the light turned red five seconds before you pry it i could see if the light turned yellow and you did that shit but you waited five seconds after the light turned red to go ahead and go like who the fuck does that 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 was like the dumbest shit ever like you was asking for trouble like you know when the light turned green people are hitting on the gas because they had already sat there and waited so you just sat there and let the light be red for five seconds and decided it was your turn to go and you ended up having an accident now i understand people do get upset when you hit their car people do get mad if you get in, get them into an accident that could have been avoided people will get mad and and sometimes people's reactions are getting up in your face yelling and screaming at you however the woman did kind of like keep going and keep going and keep going with it i don't have time for that i'm not about to be standing outside arguing with somebody in the middle of the street which is dangerous as fuck you know what i'm saying like i am not about to be in the middle of the street arguing with anybody you can get hit by a car you can get hit by on government traffic you know these people out here can't drive I, you know i say that for arizona but people can drive all over the fucking world that is a known fact there are people all, all over the world that do not need no fucking driver license but it's sad that y'all had to escalate it escalated into a physical fight now at least y'all each had someone there with you but you know what i hate when men feel to take the need like i understand that's your lady that's your woman that's your wife that's your girlfriend but you really need not to involve yourself in two women arguing and fighting with each other. The only thing that you should do is tell your woman to get, get going, stop it, cut it out, and pull your woman away. Don't put your hands on another woman that you don't even know you're not even there with because it didn't, it definitely does look suspect. So you mean to tell me this man was with this woman who's in her late 40s, she said. She was, well, she was in her late 40s. And he went along with arguing back and forth with Magenda. When that right there was not a given. Like, he should not have allowed that. He should not have done that. What he was supposed to be doing there is getting his old ass lady and making sure that she remained classy and a lady and sat in the car and waited until the proper law authorities came to the scene of the accident. That's what he was supposed to do. Not egg her on and root her on and tell her to keep going with it because you popping off, then she popping off. Now y'all both popping off and y'all both in this young lady face so what happens it starts to become an argument now listen let me tell you something i don't want to fight anybody in the middle of the street in the middle of traffic that's not what i'm going to do but i would be refusing for you to be putting your hands in my face we are not about to do that out here you are not going to be putting your hands in my face i don't give a fuck how old you are don't put your hands in nobody's face that right there is asking for an ass whipping it's unfortunate that y'all had to really like go physical at it and then you got your sister and she gotta jump in because the guy is like more or less holding you back for his lady to get hits off on you girl that one accident could all all of that shit could have been avoided because i guarantee you you didn't go nowhere that you was planning on going to but to jail you went to prison okay no let me stop messing with you girl magenda you worried about this ruining your livelihood your life your career now take it from me i well don't take for me because i'm not a career criminal all right i'm definitely not that um but i have been arrested quite a few times in my time for fighting okay a lot of times for fighting i have had the cuffs put on me yes okay but it didn't ruin my career it didn't ruin my life at all some things you know certain things will not ruin your career or your life but the accident may ruin your car insurance, girl, okay? Because you are at fault, your car insurance is going to go up. And who the hell wants to pay more car insurance? Car insurance is pricey as it is. And you in your 20s, too? Girl, your car insurance is high already. And that's what every state, it don't be just here in Arizona or New York. When you in your 20s, 
your insurance is so high because you're a liability to them. So insurance is high in your 20s. And for you to take this drastic turn and say, well, bitch, fuck it. I'm hitting the gas now. Like you was really delayed in that whole turn. Girl, you were supposed to do that. At least have done it when the light was about to turn red. But no, you did it five seconds after, which already gave the people on the oncoming side time to get, hit the gas. Okay, so I too would have been pissed off at you if I was a driver. Best believe, if, I wouldn't even care if it was your fault. Or if you still had the light and you hit my car, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad with you. Okay, that's just, I'm going to be mad. You hit my car and hit the side of it. Oh, girl, I'm going to be mad with you. I'm going to be mad with you. Okay, that is a person's reaction. It's unfortunate that you had to go through fist fighting, but I'm here to tell you, Magenta, it's not going to ruin your career. It's not going to ruin your life. You know what I mean? But it will ruin your car insurance. And I just feel like this. Sometimes people be in a rush for no fucking reason, and they decide like at the last moment that they want to go or they want to hit the gas, or people don't pay attention because y'all be in a rush. This is my thing. You're going to get there. You're going to get there. If you late, you're still going to get there. You speed it on the gas, you pushing the gas pump, it's not going to make you get there any safer. You're going to get there regardless. You're going to get there. But just take it upon yourself. You don't want that left out late or you did whatever you decided to do and that now that's the reason why you're in a rush still i wouldn't be in a rush i would take my time behind the wheel is nothing to play with okay being an owner of a car is nothing to play with you don't want to step on the gas at the last minute you don't want to step on the gas to hurry up and be in a rush somewhere listen people out here be acting crazy people out here cannot drive people out here don't have no insurances people out here don't have no licenses why be one of those people on their fucking hit list and go ahead and take it upon yourself and cause an accident the next person that you hit Magenda or do that to could be really really hurt you could have actually hurt this woman you know what I'm saying you hit her driver's side so you could have really hurt this woman and maybe her fear of being hit was the reason why she lashed out at you like I said it was her reaction this woman could have been scared and traumatized okay due to a recent accident or accident prior or just in general nobody really wants to get hit and it does take a toll on a person's nervous system when they're being hit in the car and a lot of people don't want to drive after that or just a lot of people are very leery and nervous when getting into a car so for you to take that turn five seconds after the red light you was definitely at fault but it's great that you admitted to that but you can't expect somebody to chill down just because you said chill the fuck out because you have car insurance just because you have car insurance don't mean shit to a lot of people that don't mean shit your car insurance may not fix her car your car insurance may not cover everything for her car therefore that's going to have her car totaled out and then that makes her not able to drive around because due to your accident and you're at fault okay so i understand the woman is upset and i understand that she was very angry but the part with her husband and you getting into it that part i really can't understand you know what i'm saying but if, if you're if you're scared, if you're afraid of it taking a toll on your life situation and your career, it's not going to do that. It's You're not going to be in debt. You're not going to be going to prison. You're not going to do jail time. You may have to do some community service due to the fight that you've had because it was a physical domestic issue that is considered domestic. So you may have to do some type of probation. You may have to do some community service, but I don't foresee you going to prison, okay, over this whole fiasco. This is like nonsense, shenanigans. It's, I don't foresee that. But in the future, I wouldn't suggest you taking turns five seconds after the light turned red because you don't really know who's in that car. There could have been a child in the backseat. That mother, that woman that driving could have been pregnant. You don't know what you may have trickled, what kind of trickle effect it can have onto the person that's in the opposite car. So I would not suggest doing that. Okay. But what I would suggest is just, you know what I'm saying? being calm being patient and taking your time you're gonna get there regardless girl but this no this is not going to harm you in any way she wrote me this long ass email for just really like a one answer because really you know what i'm saying could you imagine standing in the middle of the street fighting with somebody over an accident like y'all car just had a whole fight together and now you want to physically fight me like girl no i'm upset i'm standing here crying about my car now you want to put pause on me that probably would piss me the fuck off because now you're running off at the mouth oh yeah i might have been ready to fight too but you know it is what it is you're at fault at least you admitted to it please don't do that again because you could really harm somebody but you guys let these young these ladies know in the comment section what your thoughts on are what your thoughts are of their emails of the one with you are not the father and then this one hear about going to jail you know what i'm saying what are your thoughts on both of these issues and also the very first email which was more or less asking me do i know of queen of kings and what are my thoughts on them do you guys know of them and what are your thoughts on them? that note i'm gonna leave you with i love you stay diva and devolicious stay safe stay peaceful mind your business and stay out the way and girl if you got allergies then take your meds i'm about to go take some okay all the items that i listed are shown in this video will be listed below i love you guys stay diva and devolicious and i'll see y'all on the next one